now brown cow. How now brown cow. Unique New York. Unique New York. Ooh, ooh. Wait, are we on? Are we on? Uh oh. Hello. Good afternoon, and welcome to Giants Head News. I am Anchorman McCluskey. And before we get to our first news story this afternoon, I want to answer a couple of our questions coming in from our fans. So, first question. Yes, this is professional attire. This is exactly what Anchormans like to wear. Second answer to the question is, I know what you're all thinking. And yes, yes, there is matching pants that go with this. Okay, and now back to our breaking news stories. Animals have been taking over the world ever since quarantine first came in. We are seeing penguins and flamingos walking around the zoo, no problems. No humans, just walking around the zoo. We are seeing pumas walking through the city of Chile and they are jumping over massive fences. What are they hunting? We have yet to find out. Finally, we are also seeing seagulls dominating the beaches in Peru. Dominating, as I mean, there are usually people laying all over the sand, sun tanning, eating ice cream. Not these days, not these days. Now the beach belongs to seagulls. Now, I'm hearing, yep, hello, yep, yes, we have news from our Australian correspondents at ABC News. Please follow through with them to see more on this breaking news story. They're noisy and don't really understand the concept of personal space, and these flamingos are getting the VIP treatment. Given the rare opportunity to take a private tour of the Texas State Aquarium after it closed due to coronavirus, they're not the only animals taking advantage of the lack of people. Japan's famous Nara Park deer, usually fed by tourists, have started wandering into town to search for their next meal. While this puma surprised residents of Chile's capital, Santiago, when it came down from nearby mountains. And Peru's beaches, normally crowded with people, have now been taken over by flocks of seabirds. It's really a good thing, a good thing within all the worrying and the situation that's happening right now. Of all the impacts of the pandemic, one of the few positive impacts is giving nature a break. Although some animals are enjoying their newfound freedom, these monkeys in Thailand, accustomed to getting snacks from people, brawled in the street over a cup of yogurt. <laughs> With so much wildlife appearing in urban areas, people are finding it difficult to look away. This is like the bachelorette, but with turkeys. And their fascination has inspired thousands to tune into live streams from zoos around the world. So we started the Facebook Live so that all of you could still connect with the animals even if you can't leave your house. It's not just the animal world that's benefiting from less human activity. Data showing bluer skies and cleaner air in previously heavily polluted areas. So in the main cities affected by these lockdown measures, we can see a reduction on the concentrations of this pollutant. And while parks and public spaces remain off limits to people, animals will have free reign. Andrew Nierhoff, Are we on? Are we back? Are we on? Oh, hello everybody and welcome back. Wow, that is some pretty crazy things happening in this world, right? The animals are starting to really take over again. I guess that's not such a bad thing as we have also taken over a lot of their land. All right, so, now, since we are here at Giant's Head, I'd like to hand it out to our news correspondent that is outside. All right. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes. All right. Heading outside to our traveling correspondent. Please follow through with them for the rest of the news for today. Yep. One. Well, thank you, Anchorman McCluskey. I am out here in our wild territory of Giant's Head Elementary School. Unfortunately, as you can see, the land lays barren. There is absolutely nothing going on out here. I've been searching for children to come and try to play on this playground, but unfortunately they're not allowed to right now. I'm finding this out from the school district. So as of right now, there is not much information I could give you other than I really, really hope that there are children being able to play on this playground, this beautiful empty playground behind me and this field that's on the other side of me too. I really hope so. But unfortunately, that's all I could say to you right now. The sun is out. I got my sun hat on. I hope everybody's outside playing around in their own safe space. Back to you. And that was our traveling correspondent out there. And we're both hoping that soon we can have some kids laughing, playing and running around in these fields and playgrounds again soon. So just before we leave you today on Giants Head News, I wanted to mention one thing. I would like you to go out and find your 
favorite news story that has been happening this past week in our community or in the world. If you'd like some help, please follow the links below. We have Dogo News, which is an amazing website. Also, newsforkids.net. I can't recommend those two more. Excellent. I look forward to hearing you and what news stories you have found throughout this past week. Thank you again for joining us here on Giants Head News. I am Anchorman McCluskey, and that is how we do it at Giants Head. Music